time to do it, that's all. And it just, it bothers me because I really want to have time to do it way more often than I do. I almost wish that I could have a whole gameplay channel based around these things that would support me and that would be pretty cool and I would love for that to actually happen. That's a oh, dream wow. that would be cool. cool. To... I wonder when that'll ever happen. You know? Wait. Yeah, I know. But uh, I specifically the support me part, that'd be cool. That'd be cool if I could actually just like, not even make a living, just like, kind of make a living off of it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I, if I could like, work a part-time job and also pay bills because my gameplay channel and or just my animations and or anything that I'm super passionate about was like, kind of help, like even if I had a Patreon that was like helping me out, you know what I mean? Like if I could sort of have that going for me, that would be phenomenal and i know that that's like just the dream in general you know what i mean but like like it would be like i don't even care if it's like like 100 if i can just like work like 10 hours a week and cover everything that i need to cover and then just eat fucking saltines and wheat thins for like four months straight so that i can really just focus on animation and and and, and like my gameplay channel and have that work out i'm cool with that i'm cool with living skinny i've already like there was a uh, point during college where i was like living off almost 50 bucks a week. And I ate super good, first of all. Like, I, I really was able to buy uh, the proper amount of food, and I was eating super good. Um, and there was a time where that fun got cut off, and, like, straight up, dude, I was just like, I guess I'm eating eggs this week. And for a whole week, I ate nothing but eggs, and by the end of the week, that's a 13. Yeah. Uh, by the end of the week, I was pooping yellow, which makes sense. But, yeah, like, I'm cool with doing that for my dreams. I'm just, like, if I could get just there, like, literally just enough to sort of kind of support me, that would be perfect. I mean, the dream would be to have it so, like, like, honestly, with the gameplay channel, I'd love to do something like Game Grumps and or, um, you know, any, any sort of gameplay channel and or thing that has, like, tons of people on it where it could support enough people on it you know what i mean yeah that that like each person could work like a fun house or rooster teeth where like like enough people are able to collectively work together and that would be sweet that'd be sweet if like a whole thing could support each other and we could build something like that that'd be awesome that's why i'm kind of like i've been kind of like like saying to you guys like hey if you ever want to like make gameplay we can just throw it up on playaga instead of like you know making your own channel because i already kind of have a little bit of an audience uh kind of right now and it'd be neat to like sort of start building that with like like if five people were all working on the same channel it could probably like work out a lot faster and easier than you know what i mean yeah. than like like just one person building like or like five people building one individual channel separately you know what i mean because you're all trying to support the same thing versus throwing five different things at one person you know what i mean so, yeah, I think, I think it could, it, I, th I think there's lots of potential. I won't, I won't, I won't say there's, there's not. He turned into a weird, he looks like a predator right now. Not like, like, a child predator, but like, it, no, like, like the fucking, the predator alien yeah, thing. Yeah, just, I was not thinking child predator. Okay, well, I said he looks like a predator, and my, my brain was just like, that's a word for other things, and I didn't mean it that way, and I just wanted to clarify <laughs> Like, kind of like, uh, the word fetish immediately makes you think of, like, a sexual kink. You know what I mean? Yeah. Whereas the word fetish can also imply a object that is so, um, uh, that is given a lot of value, right? So, like, witches in, like, like Diablo and, uh, Path of Exile and stuff like that will oftentimes have wands that are called fetishes because they are, um objects that have so much um focus on them that they they focus on that to uh to unleash their power because it is the object that they can focus on one so it's like it's not like a sexual thing it's just a it's like a focus thing which is but like i'm saying that the word means two different things uh, that's all i was saying <laughs> I would like to know how he, cause he, he both shoots a beam at you, 
And then, also, like, what, where are the balls? Those are- he's cutting the air so good that he's, like, slashing through dimensions and, like, hitting you. But, like- But, like, so he's, like, slashing the air, and then it forms a ball that then damages you. Yeah. By slashing, like, two seconds later. Yeah. It's magic. I'm Shut not- up. Like, no, 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 no. Like, don't, don't get me wrong. I'm not questioning how it works. Like, like, on a, on a, like, oh, like, practicality or, like, science level. I'm, pra I'm, I'm, I'm just, like, I want to know, like, more intricate details about this technique. Like, give me, like, the chakra, like, the Naruto chakra explanation of, like, how this functions. Like, I cut the atoms so that this happens, and then three seconds later they react and explode with my sword strikes. I mean, technically speaking... His sword, it's not really spoke of in this, but it's spoke of in like four and later stuff. Where his sword ha does have the power to legit. Cut oh, he was having a straight up tantrum. I didn't realize that the yeah. first time. Uh, he can legit cut through dimensions. Like he, in later games, he does start just using it to teleport because he can just like cut through dimensions with it. Um, but it's a combination of that and how fast he's swinging it that he's able to like just, you know, cut the air like that. Right. But I'm not sure why he does it in a sphere like that, besides... I don't know. Gotcha. <laughs> it's just, that's what's odd to me about it, because, like, the, the the blade beam, like, that was, that was perfect, like, I didn't even question that. But then, like, the spherical, like, he just... I'm like, like unsheathes his blade so fast that he literally causes a, a spherical rift in reality that then damages you. That's crazy. Well, it's just magic, man. <laughs> oh, God damn it! I didn't set an alarm. It was again. Well, I'll okay. maybe not die to him this time. Nah, don't die. Maybe. Do good. Do good times. He's got straight up like freaking uh, like Black Panther gauntlets and 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 boots. Yeah. Oh, rip, rip, uh. I always I always butcher his name. It's like his last name. Boswick? Yeah, Boz Boz uh, Chad. Not Chad. What, what am I saying? I'm freaking. I want to look it up so I don't butcher his name by saying it poorly. Chadwick Boseman. Oh, or Bosman. 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 Okay. Yeah, rip rip that guy. He he was struggling. He was struggling for years, and nobody knew, and that's kind of, that's kind of crazy to me. But, uh, he did some great, great shit. No, oh. oh, brother. Yeah, he was just kind of ripping into you for a second, bro. Does his hair go- oh. You do kind of look like a Persona character. Or like, uh, like, what's, uh, what's the one- What's the guy that Joker gets behind him? Uh, Arsene. Arsene, yeah. You kind of look like, like, designed similar to that kind of thing. I'm pretty sure it's the same. Like, I'm pretty sure that guy is still the character designer, or well, monster designer, whatever, of many of the things. I'm dying. Um, is it the same? What's the guy in three? Because I don't remember exactly what the guy in three is, but like he looks. What the persona that he has? Yeah. Uh, is it not the, the same? It's not the same, is it? No, the persona the main character in three has is uh, Orpheus. Oh Unless yeah, Orpheus the, uh, is his name. Yeah. Most of the stuff in that is based on Greek mythology. And then Persona 5 is, um, uh, what are they called? Like, Gentleman Thieves and things like that. 
I think four is Japanese mythology stuff. I die. I like I like that the Persona series does that though. It it doesn't like usually like say like take Persona Five for example, how like you're going into like people's heads and doing all that stuff. Um, usually like if a series was founded on that kind of idea, it would like retain that mechanic the whole like like it would be different variations of what you're doing, but with that same idea as its like core and i really like how like persona kind of it has certain things that stay the same but most of what's going on changes very drastically every game yeah which is it's just cool to me it's cool to me that like they they kind of tell a different story each time now, each one is pretty much its own self-contained thing well it's not you could play like four and not like have to play three or any of the other ones just because the way things interact with each other the way people get things is pretty different so you don't need to know how they did it in like the previous game to know like oh that's how persona works or whatever because each one is they follow right. the same general rule but it's still like each thing is different like in the first one or in three uh you have to shoot yourself in the head to get a persona. Yeah. And, um, you know, nobody else really does that. Uh, and the way the enemies are brought up is also just different. Like, what the en enemies represent in terms of, like, the overall story is just, you know, it's not just like, oh, it's just a big bad. No, right. Person. And uh, I would say, like, another good example of, of games doing that is, like, Silent Hill. Because, like, the Silent Hill series, um, like, Silent Hill 1 and 2 are extremely good, and then 3 is, I, I don't remember as much, uh, but 3 is telling a story that's related to, like, 1 and 2, but more 1. Um, but the thing about those games that first started off is that each Silent Hill was sort of its own personal hell for the person, like, the character that you're playing, right? And so, like, it was a very different experience each game because, it, like, it still had the same kind of vibe where it was just kind of fucked up and crazy and, and really sketchy in that, you know, uh, location, but at the same time, it was its own contained, uh, like, all the enemies were new, all the, the, like, versions of things that were happening were based around specifically the character and why they're personally in their own silent hell. You know what I mean? Um, for example, Pyramid Head only makes sense in Silent Hill 2 because he is a manifestation of the main character uh, in in his head and, and subconscious and stuff like that. So him showing up in all the other Silent Hills and then the movie like he does. He's just a character that was really iconic, and he didn't really make any sense in, out of, out of, like, out of place, uh, from 2, if that makes any sense. Yeah. Um, and there's no, like, so, like, the first few Silent Hill games were, like, really good and, like, made sense, and then...